In the previous video, we saw how to complete mapping using a combination of auto map, ledger level, and group level mapping. Now we'll see what are the next steps. In this case, I've completed mapping all the ledgers. Once we complete covering 100% of the ledgers, this closing stock mapping tab will get enabled. Here, the system will automatically populate the categories based on your uh, current assets mapping. You just need to review it once and save. Once this is saved, the submit button will get enabled. Uh, every change in mapping, the first time or subsequent times, apart from saving, you need to also submit it because at this time, the system will compute the profit and uh, make multiple other calculations. So I click submit. It's going to take some time now. Now mapping is submitted and ledger reconciliation has been enabled. So what is ledger reconciliation? There is a lot of data transfer happening uh, in the whole process. First, the data gets exported from tally to JSON and from JSON it gets imported in the system. There is a theoretical possibility of data loss in any of these steps. So we have this step called balance reconciliation wherein for each ledger in your trial balance, the system will compare the opening and closing balances between Tally and Azure AI. And uh, when there is no mismatch found, it will pass and show the report. If there are mismatches, it would show a failure here, which is a very rare occurrence. But if it happens, you need to reach out to support at AzureAI.in and we'll pitch in and help you resolve the issue. Now that it is passing, we can just select approve and submit. Approval of ledger reconciliation completes all the preliminary tasks. So once you do this, you can see that all the links are enabled for statement preparation and field work tasks. Those will be covered in another video. Thanks for watching.